Hi, I'm Larissa and welcome to this edition of Digilent Show and Tell. Show and Tell is a weekly segment where we focus on Digilent products and services that you may not know about. Today, I wanted to focus on products around our analog discovery. Um, high level, the analog discovery is a tool that turns anyone's computer into a powerful instrumentation and measurement tool. This plus our free user interface software, Waveforms, turns your computer into the functionality of an oscilloscope, waveform generator, logic analyzer, uh, pattern, spectrum, network analyzer, and some power supplies and digital I.O., a whole lot of things. Speaking of waveforms, today's waveforms is Waveforms 2, which it only works on PCs. But right now, what you might not know is that we're currently beta testing Waveforms 3 that can also run on Mac and Linux systems. To learn more about that or become a beta tester, you can join our forums at digilentinc.com uh, forum. So alternatively, if you want to learn more about uh, the analog discovery uh, and the current release of the software, you can go and there's a brilliant uh, teardown that was made by Dave Jones from the EEV blog, and we'll provide the links below. What I wanted to really focus on, though, was the things you can bundle with your analog discovery to get more out of your tool. If you're getting this tool to help you better learn analog electronics or looking to strengthen your fundamentals, then you should look at the analog parts kit. Uh, you can bundle this analog parts kit with your analog discovery and you get $15 off. Inside of this kit you have a variety of ICs, um, through hole components, and then also some more modern components. Many modern ICs don't come in dip packages, so what we did was that we worked with analog devices to um, put some of their more popular ICs that didn't come in dip packages in the CMOD form factor. There's a lot of additional components inside of this box to help you build circuits. Some passives, a breadboard, um, LEDs, a um, couple trim pots. So, but all of these, plus the discovery and our online course material at learn.digitalinc.com is really good for someone looking to beef up their analog electronics knowledge. The next set of products that we have are to enhance your analog discovery. The analog discovery already comes with a lot of things inside of the box. If you open it up and you see, there's a RF choke to help you smooth out data signals, um, a micro USB cable that connects the discovery to the PC. There is uh, headers, that uh, male headers, that help change the gender of the female flywires that are, is the primary interface for the analog discovery. These flywires are very useful in working with breadboards. We've seen people buy a few replacement flywire kits and leave them connected to their circuits. So all they had to do was move their analog discovery and not have to tear apart the entire breadboard. Extra flywire sets are available on our website under the accessories page. Our next product is, uh, is good for if you need to get very close to your circuit and you're still working with your fly wires. So these are our mini grabbers that we've sourced specifically to work with the analog discovery. Each of these mini grabbers come in a pack of six, all different colors, and they've been made specially for a female breadboard wire to connect into. If you look specifically at the grabber hook, you will see there's two connectors here that the breadboard wire slides over. Uh, here's an example of where you can I'll disconnect it. So there's a little hook in there and then I take the female connector and I slide it in. I like these grabber hooks and I find them really useful, except for the fact it's not immediately obvious when you buy them how to use them, which is why I'm showing you. The next product is for someone who maybe they don't like the fly wire for their design style or they're afraid of crosstalk or really they just enjoy using traditional probes. We make an add-on board, which we call the Discovery BNC, that can give your analog Discovery BNC connector inputs and outputs. You take the board and you just connect it exactly the same place that you would have your flywire in. And now you have BNC connectors for analog input 1 and analog input 2. 
and waveform generator 1 and waveform generator 2. All the other signals are pinned out from the analog discovery to this header down here. We also stock our BNC uh, probes. And so these probes come two to a pack and they connect very nicely into any standard BNC output. Inside of the probe pack comes a little accessory thing for your probes, as well as every probe comes with an alligator clip. For the last product, if you're, like, if you're one of those people like me that can't seem to get all of the cables to fit back into the hard CD case, or if you buy the, all the adapters and accessories and want to keep them all in the same box, then you can use the project box that I covered in the first show and tell. Here's my project box you know, where I printed out the pinout diagram of my analog discovery and I put it in the lid. So it was useful and I knew that it was the analog discovery. That wraps up this edition of Show and Tell. If you have any additional accessories that perhaps I miss or just want to share how you use your discovery, please share in the comments below. And if you have any questions, join our member forums. Thanks and until next time. This is why we have a project box. I'm not kidding. <laughs>